The idea of switching genes on or off grows out of a new field of science with a funny name, Evo Devo, short for Evolutionary Developmental Biology, the study of how different species develop as embryos. Sean Carroll, one of Evo Devo's leading scientists, says the assumption until about 20 years ago was that every different type of animal came with its own genetic recipe. You have butterfly genes to make butterflies and earthworm genes to make earthworms and human genes to make humans and that those recipes would be completely different, have nothing in common. Why would they? If you look at a fly, it has these big bug eyes, it has wings, it has hollow legs, it's not anything like us. But a funny thing happened when scientists actually isolated the genes that build fruit fly bodies and then started looking around at the rest of the animal kingdom. Those very same genes exist in you and I and in mice and in earthworms and in butterflies the and in birds. Genes. Same sets of genes for building their bodies, yeah. We must have many more. We have a bit more. A um, bit more? A bit more. Not we, a have lot more, more. we have more than fruit flies, but we don't have any more of these bodybuilding genes than, say, a mouse. Did a dinosaur have many more? Because they were no. so much bigger? Dinosaurs, no. mice. Elephants? Elephants, really the same number of genes. So the trick has been to explain how do you get all this great variety of animal forms from essentially the same set of genes. So what's the answer? The answer is it's not the genes you have, it's how you use them. It's when and where the bodybuilding genes are turned on and off. And it really is like a, like a ballet almost.